I am so thrilled to be doing a South Africa special because this is a reading I've wanted to do forever but didn't do it because, you know, I had no interest <laughs> in, South, in South Africa, not in Oscar Pistorius because my audience is mainly American and I figured that no one would uh, ever get to watch it. But now that I'm going to South Africa and I am learning uh, South African metaphysicality, this is a good time to do Oscar Pistorius and his dead girlfriend, Riva. For those who don't know the story, Oscar Pistorius is a great athlete or was a great athlete in, in Africa. He doesn't have legs, so he used to compete at the Paralympics and he used to win, okay? He used to win like crazy. Oscar Pistorius is South African and to us, the Bantu, he is Bantu because once you've lived in Africa for more than 100 years, once your bloodline has been in Africa for more than 100 years, you don't know it, but you, you belong to our metaphysicality. So he is Bantu. Anyway, Oscar had this beautiful, 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 beautiful beautiful girlfriend called Riva yes most white Africans are gorgeous compared to Africans no compared to white people here he had this beautiful 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 girlfriend called Riva and one night he shot her and she died and so there was uh, a big deal about it. Oscar was saying it was an accident and and he didn't mean to do it. And first he was convicted of something like culpable homicide. I don't know what it means exactly, but then it was turned to full murder afterwards. I don't know if Oscar is out of prison, but um, I, don't, I don't know any of those details. I'm just, I am just going to center on what happened the night he shot his girlfriend. So we're going to call Oscar, then we're going to call Reva from the grave. Reva from the grave. It is time. Reva from the grave. It is time. Because we can only read the dead after one year, unless, of course, it is a request made by a blood relative. Because we do those things after we have buried a person. I think I have said it before. We do... Um, in Shauna, we call them gata. When someone is killed or dies, there's always a metaphysical reason why. So after they have been buried, the family goes to a witch doctor or the witch doctor comes to the family and they do a seance with the deceased and the deceased tells the people what happened. It is part of our culture. It is part of our grieving process. So, um, so since... Um, I'm not asked directly by blood relatives. I have to wait for a year for the deceased to go to their ancestors and to get used to their new way of life because the soul never dies. The soul never dies. It is eternal. Right? So we wait for the deceased to get used and then we call them back after a year. All right. So we're going to call Riva and we're going to call... Um, we're going to call Riva and we're going to call Oscar. And I did put their pictures at the beginning of this video so that you guys know who they are. Okay, Riva and Oscar, this is your reading. So first I'm going to blow the shelf. And I am being told by my grandma. My grandma Shopezai is, is uh, uh, a celebrity. People love her more than they love me. And I understand why. She said, that's right, bitch. <laughs> stay jealous. Okay. Okay, Grandma. I'm happy to stay jealous. Okay. So, Grandma is just reminding me that I have not opened the board of the band to... <laughs> the way I should. And today I am opening the board of the Bantu in honor of the Cape Colony of South Africa. The Cape Colony of South Africa is the land where mixed race people were made. Everybody was fucking everybody over there. And lots and lots of mixed race people were made. My ancestor, the Great Casa, grew up in the Cape Colony but he was in an institution for biracial children because he wasn't he was illegal he wasn't supposed to have been made and he was illegal and they have a bad reputation 
I don't know it for sure, but I sense it, the energy. I sense the energy that they have a bad reputation and that South Africa looks down on them, even if they don't, they don't say it. Like when um, somebody was commenting, a South African was commenting down there and, and, and they said to me, oh, your ancestors are from the Cape Colony. Now you make sense to me, right? I, it was... A compliment, but it was not a compliment. I felt like she was saying, okay, your your wild, crazy, unconventional behavior is because of your uh, Cape Colony ancestors. But you must be proud of your heritage. You must be proud of everything that makes you who you are. And I am fucking proud that the great Casa came from the Cape Colony. I am fucking proud of him in every way. I am fucking proud that Cape Colony blood runs in my veins. I am fucking proud. Because of that, I dedicate this reading to all the biracial people in South Africa. This reading right here is for you, mine own. This is your reading. Because you know what? When I'm in metaphysical battles in the dream world and I need help, do you know who pops up? A bunch of biracials from who once lived in the cape colony and i i remember seeing them first i was what are these colors doing here they were there to rescue a bitch and every time i am in the metaphysical fighting away there is and i find myself in that crunch in that horrible place a group of colored males wearing traditional attire based on the black side of them comes to release me to to break down the walls to do whatever they'll be speaking in Africans and thank god I did some Africans in school they'll be speaking in Africans and they'll be doing their shit still and they'll be looking very cultural very very cultural and their little baby will start trotting behind them after they have rescued me so you know for those who do not like cape 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 colors and for those who insult cape colors that's on you I am very proud that their blood runs in my veins. I was proud yesterday. I'm proud today. I will be proud tomorrow and for the rest of my life. And you know, ancest ancestry DNA, when they gave me a list of my cousins, and I was laughing about this, my first cousin was this white Scottish dude. No, this white Irish guy and this other white uh, Scottish dude. My second cousins, and I am actually going to look them up when I go there, were all from the Cape Colony in South Africa. Right. So, you know, there is pride here. There is pride. And so this board of the battle is dedicated to the Cape Colors. Ooh, okay. I've opened the board. Okay. All righty. So I've blown my shells. And now we're going to call Oscar. And oh my God, my ancestors just say thank you. No, it's me, your baby girl, who is so proud. I am so proud to have Cape Colored blood running in my veins. fucking proud okay all righty so now we go to oscar oh my god i've, I've made my ancestors so happy oh my god <laughs> let's take a moment let's take a moment let me let them be happy okay all righty their beloveds has got to work all righty so we're gonna look at the night that Oscar killed Riva and the board of the Bantu is going to see the truth. Okay, I want to go Oscar first because he's alive. <laughs> okay. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. Okay, so Oscar has lost his life. A shell fell to the ground, as we were calling his name. And the shell says he has lost his life. The life that he knew, the life that he worked hard for, the life that he thought he was going to have is gone. He's also very suicidal and he is thinking about ending himself. Whatever situation he's in, he might be dead for all I know. 
it is a gruesome situation for him. He can't take it. There is a lot of like torture and grief and despair and anger and hatred. Hatred at who? At women, the system, everyone who let him down. I'm going to have to check if this guy is still alive. Everyone who let him down. Oscar is all things. Oscar has a raging temper, which he, uh, which he used to use physically to do his running and his determination to get over. He says life has been unfair to him. Life has always been unfair to him. Why the fuck does he have to end his life like this? He says, first, I had no fucking legs. It was hard for me to get a girl. And when I got a girl, it was hard to keep her because, you know, I'm fucking disabled. No matter what they say or do, it used to gross them out. Riva was grossed out by the way I looked. She was grossed out. So she was cheating on me with some rugby guy. She was cheating and she thought I didn't know it. But then she had the nerve. She had the nerve to be talking to him while I was there, lying in bed next to her. She had the nerve. How much disrespect was I supposed to take? How much? Any man out there would have done exactly what I did. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to call... Riva. Riva is coming from the land of the dead. And because she's Bantu, they may be like, you know. But we'll see. We'll see if God allows us to have Riva. Okay. Riva. 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 Riva came from the land of the dead and also from the southeast and her energies merged. Riva, sweet, sneaky girl. Sneaky in the way that every female is sneaky. Very gossipy. Not popular with her friends, although they smiled to her face. That's what she's saying. They smiled to my face, but they didn't like me. In fact, I believe my childhood friends were the only ones who truly liked me. When I went into modeling, everything was fake. I forgive Oscar. I'm done with that situation. I mourn the children I never had. I was about to dump him so that I could actually go out with someone else that I thought was better. Not financially better, but better because I wanted to be a wife and a mother. I couldn't take Oscar's tantrums. I couldn't take his physical abuse. So she's saying that Oscar used to beat her. She says, yes, he used to beat me. And I used to hide it and cover it up. And that's what you get for telling lies. I shouldn't have lied. I wanted to get away from Oscar, not because he was disabled, but because he was abusive. He was abusive. When I ran into that bathroom, it wasn't the first time I'd run into that bathroom. I, I'd run into that bathroom before many times to get away from his beatings. I did not expect him to pick up his gun and to shoot me. I had no idea he hated me that much. So welcome to Riva. She says, thank you, my sister. I said, you're welcome, my sister. <laughs> you're welcome. It's the thing about us Africans. We call each other sisters. It's really interesting. Anyway, um... So this is Oscar and Riva. They are both standing there. Riva is a light energy. She is somebody who never really hurt anyone. 
you know, she, she had the same issues as other human beings. You know, we, we gossip, we tell lies, we tell truth, we move about life. You know, we take from someone else, but nothing that makes her dark. She was a racist, a hardcore racist. She said, yes, I, I was. She was a racist, a hardcore racist. She says, but it's the system I was born into. Agreed, because you're being very nice to me now. She says, well, now that I'm on the other side, I realize that there was no need for me to even feel like that. I wish I had connected more with my own. Yes, girl. You might have colonized us on the left, but we colonized you in the metaphysical. <laughs> okay, she, <laughs> she's laughing with me. Yes, we did. The bad to colonize you all in the metaphysical. Oh, well, yeah, we did a good job. <laughs> okay, so she's laughing too. She used to find laughing very easy. Reva was a classist, you know, but who isn't? She was about upper class, lower class, middle class. Who really isn't? Okay. Now we got the couple, the golden couple of their era in their time in the plate. We got Oscar the Dark because he's, he is, he is in a moment in his life that's causing him much anger, much pain, much grief. We've got Reva the Lie you know she is at peace where she is and she is doing her thing where she is and now we put them on the board and i'm just gonna ask one question what happens that night reva oh i'm not sure whether i should shake it reva and oscar my answer is to say shake it reva and oscar what happened that night what happened that night? What happened that night? Well, at once I'm getting all these images and flashes. Zoom, 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 zoom. Reva was naked when she died, in case anyone is interested, because she got out of the bed naked. So all these shells just fell and my eyes were closed. This is a tragedy world. <laughs> this is a tragedy. This is a tragedy. Okay, I can't even fight these goddamn shells. You're going to have to all excuse me as I crawl around my table because these shells have to be found. There is one shell that, oh, the little bitty shell that fell this um, right in the present moment. It is showing us. And that, you know, destruction occurred and destruction will continue to occur. And this is very fascinating to me. These shells, they are very fascinating. But let me just crawl, okay? Allow me to crawl around and see. Because I heard a whole avalanche of shells. Okay. So let's see. Where are you? Where the fuck are you? Okay. If they, if I can't find them, it's because they've disappeared so far deep that I'm not allowed to find them. And that's, um, okay, so I found one. All righty, I didn't find the others. I just found one. The others have said, no, thank you. Okay, so I found two all together. All righty, so what is this one? This one is depicting the fact that a river is gone. That she is dead. That she is in the land of the dead. Okay. So now I'm going to split this couple up. And we're going to hear their stories. Okay. This was a really bad relationship. Okay. Reva felt caged. Reva felt like she was in a cage and she couldn't get away. And... She made feeble attempts to free herself from this shit. She made feeble attempts to free herself from this shit, but it didn't quite work. She was locked in. I mean, Oscar had a way of locking a person in, you know, using abuse, and it worked very well. He used to drive her crazy, but he loved her a great deal. This is Oscar, this is Reva, and it's interesting that both their lives are in the past, but it happened in the past. So this is Oscar, he was very much in love with Reva, he was wanting everything for her, 
just as he was abusing her. And this is Riva. She's almost falling off the table. And when we see, when we look at why, it's because this love of Oscars was killing her. See, I tell people all the time that sometimes a man's love can kill your ass. Of course, it was killing her. His love was killing her and she was trying to get away from it and trying to fight, fight her way out of it. But it wasn't going to happen. She made a couple of attempts to get away. It didn't work. There is the other man that he is talking about, that Oscar was talking about. Another man did come and Riva, were you seeing the other man as well? He says, yes. Okay. This man, whoever he was, okay, is all, was older than Oscar and her. He, he was older about nine years older okay and she had been seeing him for a while she paid a lot of attention to oscar she was a very attentive girlfriend she paid a lot of attention to oscar and not much to the older men the older men did not love her but he gave her things he was good to her he was for her he was supportive and loving and kind he was also married she was dating a married man this is his wife right here and he had money he had lots and lots of money and he was um He had three kids and lots and lots of money about nine or so years older so it's i don't know about this rugby player but oscar is wrong and his soul says yes i was wrong about the man she was with but there was also a rugby player right well yeah there was also a rugby player okay he was wrong and it's interesting to me though that he is angry at the rugby player when he is all daggers at this man. So Oscar right here on this board, he's trying to stop us from seeing the truth. He, he knew about this other man. I mean, the shell say so, and his soul is refusing to accept it. It's like when you know something, but you're refusing to accept it. He says that guy was not good enough for her. How could she even double cross me with someone like that? How could she? He was old enough to be her father. Yes, we see that he, he, he is definitely older, but not old enough to be her father. Okay. So he says he was old. He says he was, though. He was old and he had kids and she preferred him to me. She constantly, without knowing it, um compared us but the rugby guy yes the rugby guy really has oscar feeling some type of way i am going to see if there was um if um if a rugby guy was even mentioned in this oscar business okay was riva dating a rugby guy I'm just trying. Rugby player. Yes, let's see. Uh, dating Oscar Pistorius. She had previously dated Springbok Francois. Oh, so it, yeah, because he's obsessed with his rugby guy. Was it Francois? He says, no, it was someone else. Do you mind telling us who? He says he, she was talking to him. Okay. I'm not getting a name out of him. Okay. Okay. Who who was Riva talking to before she died? It certainly wasn't this older man. It wasn't this older man. Um...
she was talking to uh, to hell with that we're just gonna go to the metaphysical she was talking to someone that night she she had a conversation with a man who wanted her he says the rugby guy he wanted her and she talked to him like texts rather than a phone call it was like they were texting and he woke up okay that's what we're being shown he woke up and caught her texting with this person and then they were both naked then because you know they done the do then he you know he lunged at her and she ran Okay, she ran to the bathroom for safety, right? And I don't care what the world says, she had her phone in her hand. She says, yes, I did. She had her phone in her hand. And then she went into the bathroom, locked the door, and then felt she was safe. She says, how stupid. I really felt I was safe. And I really felt I was done with Oscar. I felt I was done with him. I felt you know this is the end this is too much because i will also be honest because i liked the man i was talking to when we were having that conversation i liked it and he's been around a lot of times okay i'll be back my phone is making noise okay so she was talking to a man she was talking to somebody and she fell off the board again. Okay, it happens. She's gone. So obviously she was talking to a man, right? And she was, um, like she said, she was thinking about leaving him. Then what happened? I'm just going to, what happened? She says, you can look up at me. You don't have to look down at the shells. She said, then he shot me. I couldn't believe it. Usually, he would stop at screaming and banging at the door because I'd got away. But he shot me. Had you fought before? Like, before that, like before you went to bed? She said, no, it was actually one of the most peaceful days. And I was actually very relaxed and very happy. And, but you know, with Oscar, it was he would just like blow up out of nowhere anything i did irritated him my whole person irritated him every time we went out to a function he would he would nitpick at what i did and he would say why did you do that why did you do that why why you shouldn't have done that you shouldn't have done this and it would escalate into big noise big noise all the time that is his nature very controlling he controlled everything i did if you look at my pictures sometimes and i'm walking with oscar i have my head bowed a lot because he didn't want the attention taken away from him by my face or the way i looked attention to oscar was everything he wanted all eyes on him so i had to make myself small i was so stupid i was so stupid ah you discover how stupid you are when you get to this life the things that you allow to happen to you, the things that crush your soul and you think it's okay because, you know, you're looking at the big picture. There's no such thing as the big picture. There is just what is in front of you. I should have dumped him months, months, months ago. Okay. Oscar. What do you have to say? What do you have to say about this night? I was very nice to her, he says. I was very nice to her. I repeat, that's what he says. And then she treats me like a dog, like lower than. I think he used to say the word food sack a lot because he said, ah, food sack, man. <laughs> he used to say it a lot. He said, 
She thought she was bigger than she was. She was big because she was with me. I am Oscar Pistorius. She was what? Just a model. There are many of those where she came from, but there's only one Oscar. I was very nice to her. I treated her well. <laughs> I treated her well. Okay, how about that night? I bought her things. I bought her jewelry. I bought her expensive diamonds. I bought her things. I gave her money. I, I did things for her. I was very nice for her as my girlfriend. And I wanted it to look right. I wanted it to look presentable and sexy. Because I wanted to be the envy of other men. And then she goes and then she talks. I think this rugby player, whoever his name is, was sort of a rival of Oscars. Because he's stuck on this rugby player. He says, you know... And I'm not getting a name out of him. He said, why should I give you a name? Then they'll use it against me. And then they'll say that um, um, I did something bad to him when something bad to him happens. I, I was going to ask, are you thinking of doing something bad to him? Anyway, Oscar says, I didn't mean to kill her. That was an accident. I intended to frighten her by shooting her, but for a split second, I wanted her dead. So I am guilty of murder. And you know, I should end it here, but So what's gonna happen to you, Oscar? What's gonna happen to you, Oscar? He says, fuck man, I'm gonna rot in jail. Is he in jail or is he dead? Somebody please tell me. Because I don't like predicting death, so I'm not going to do it. Anyway, he says, fuck man, I'm gonna rot here in, 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 in jail. Where do you think I'm gonna go? What do you think is going to happen to me? I'm rotting here right now. The living conditions here are not suitable for me. I am rotting here in the violence here. And I don't have legs and there's so much violence. I am rotting here. I am rotting and I don't deserve that. South Africa should treat me better than that. I am their hero. I put South Africa on the map. They should treat me better than that. So I'm just going to ask the veil. What is going to happen to Oscar? What's going to happen to Oscar? What's going to happen to Oscar? Nothing but going downhill from here. <laughs> Nothing, but God is telling him that he can get past this. God is telling him that he can get past this. He can recoup some of his life. And he will, if he survives his own personal emotional anguish, God is telling him you still have a life and you still can make it work. So at some point, if he chooses not to off himself, he will be released from prison and he will begin a life and he will live a good life too. Oscar has money. Oscar has a lot of money, right? He may be locked away, but he has a lot of money. He may be able to find redemption and he may be able to enjoy his life, okay? That is what God is saying here. But since he, his own soul, admitted to murder, there is really nothing much we can say over here, right? This was a domestic abuse case that just went overboard. On that note, I would like to wish you all a great, great week. Fight your battles fiercely and don't give up. 
stand for justice and truth no matter what. Take care of your health because coronavi coronavirus is with us. That corona, she is busy. Well, they are busy because they are merged energies. They are busy. So take good care of yourself. But most of all, be kind to yourself. Be good to yourself. Watch out for everyone as much as you watch out for yourself. Once in a while, give yourself some a pep talk. Once in a while, just give yourself a pep talk. Just say, you're the shit that walks and talks, okay? Look in the mirror and just say it. You're the shit that walks and talks. And hopefully, I'll see you all next week.